Hi friend, what's this clock? It's showing time and today's date. Now this already we have discussed this how to develop this in another vi tutorial video tutorial we have it the link is already available. The point is now we will learn how we can develop a windows application so we can run this clock without using python or editor or compiling anything. It will be a simple windows executable code so you can directly run it on any windows platform. So that way the dependency on python won't be there. We will see how to do that. I am in my command prompt. So you can just uh, in your search bar you type a command prompt it this will open up. So in this command prompt I will just type it I have to install pi installer. So I am telling pip install installer pi uh, install pi installer. So this is already I have installed. So this will tell me the requirement is satisfied already. So it is like this you can install it. I am in the command prompt again. So because my path is in the D drive, I will change it. So I will go to D drive. Now changing to my folder. Uh, inside that one more folder is there packing. So inside this packing the file only tk dash clock file that is there. So I will go there. Now I am inside in the file where the my python code is there. You can see here in my editor at the top testing packing tk clock dot py is there. Now I will give the command. So I will say python 3. Then python 3 minus m. Now I will say pi installer. pi installer now the file name tk clock dot py so that's all now let's see what this does now it is collecting all the information it will create the file for me and once it is uh, completed it will tell successfully created now this uh, for me the path is not correctly set otherwise from any other location without saying python 3 i can create the file also so its uh, library is collecting and uh, creating the executable code. Once it is completed it will give the message successfully completed. So I, we can go and check in our directory. So fine. So last line you just read it completed successfully and it has come out of it. Now let's see in our directory. We are inside our packing directory. This was the source code. This is the only file we placed it here. Now rest everything was created. So let's go to the distribution directory inside that tk clock. Now this folder you can distribute also. Come down down here is the application. Now this is the exe file application file. I am just double clicking this. See the this is the clock. So this is real changing time and showing me. So this is how we have uh, we can create a application of it. We will move to a another one where we will be creating by keeping a SQLite database also. We will see that next. We have removed all our the clock files. Now we have placed one uh, this is one python file where a product list and this is plus two it underscore inventory is a database file. It is a SQLite database and inside this include there is a connection string is there. So that's all in this inside this packing. Now this product list what it is uh, it's a python file. We'll see how when it runs uh, on plat python how this uh, what is the output it. This is the product underscore list python file. Uh, if I'll run this it will open one window and where I can add work on the different products. So these are the products I can edit this. This is a part of an application which you are working on it. So for inventory management, we will see that. Uh, shortly one more video will come. We will not bother much about how this script work. But you just see how we will create an application using this. This has this data is stored in a SQLite database which we have just seen. It is a file based system. Same thing can be used MySQL. Subsequently we will see that. But we will go with the SQLite database. That's it. So all this data is stored here. Now let me I can change this also say this stock position is 6 I will change this to say 10 now update this you can see this stock position here it is changed same thing we will try to do uh, with the application whatever we will develop that also so let me just close this and go to the sorry go to my command prompt it is here yeah so this command prompt is here let me clear it I am inside the same one 
note that product underscore list is my file name so what i will say python 3 minus m now pi installer installer now the file name product list dot py so i am in the same directory and let's run this one so this will create the application but this time it is connecting to a uh, SQLite database which is a file based uh, uh, database system. So let's see what the application it will uh, return me whether I should able to work with because that is not a single file it, it will be working with the SQLite database and give me the uh, application. So that application I should able to update the data. So that is what check will do. So it's creating some warnings have come let's see it will work product list.exe file it has created here you can see this the name is coming so completed successfully and the, it has come to the command prompt so you can see it here now let me clear this now let's here we are inside our packing directory I am going to inside distribution product list where is my application my application is here product list is there so let's run this and see will it work yeah this has opened up my application now you can see this uh, this is what we have done it through uh, python so now let me change this one the, for the second one 74 now apple best quality now here i am writing i can edit this also uh, i am writing new one then uh, stock i am increasing up to 10 and price i am putting it 40 now let me update this yeah you can see this got updated also so this updated data is getting stored in the sqlite database so here it is stock price is changed and uh, quality best quality new one this is another application we are working on it so we'll shortly release the video for that so this is whatever product i can select i can edit it and this application is comes along with the sqlite database so the data also we can in our application we can store it so you have any doubt or any question or any suggestion use the comment section below to post it anyway we'll be working more on this application development and uh, posting the videos you want to see all other posting videos i'll request you to please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we post it and thank you for watching